We got ourselves a group. We got ourselves actually evidence trying to see if they can match him up. Avidence's group versus Zika uh, not Ducati, dead. Zikati's going up next. It's gonna be Avidence's group. Avidence subtle to Rogue Master. This boy just introducing the subtlety, reintroducing it to us over again. We got ourselves Artisa as a DH on his team. We got Limica playing some Demon all Destro, Destro. Obliv playing some Fire as a big old Xanda and sponsored by the way. Obliv gonna be going up first on Dead's group. It's gonna be Dead himself, the champion master on his team. We got Floaty. Floxy, who didn't even get to play Lanjon, playing some unholy. We got ourselves Prox, Azaferal, and Naya. Looks like some of the guys actually did get kind of a bit of a change of who goes where. Sorry for the vertigo I just caused there. Moving back and forth. But I kind of like it, honestly. It's smooth transition. Blake coming in for Obliv. Gonna get a line of breath into a polymer. Onto dead. Into a greater power. Shrink inside of it. Trying to see if he can kick it. Doesn't look like he did. That's gonna be an extra shield coming in for Obliv. That's gonna be big cool. That's coming out. Onto dead. Get a stunned up. Onto Obliv. Tricky coming out. Big power blast coming out. Onto dead. Took a bit of damage, but he's doing just fine. That was the massive burst out of Obliv. Still has greater pyros. Needs to sit in there. Needs to put dead in a bad situation and cook up some pies. It's not gonna happen. Obliv is all. Oh lordy, oh lordy, save me from dead. Maledict to hit him. Breath coming in, into Palmer for the dead. Does get it to eat the poly. Into g Pies cooking up. Is dead hungry for the day. Ring of Frost, ooh, keeping him there for a bit. It's gonna land another g Pie. Oh, you're gonna enjoy this pie. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Massive damage onto the massive heals coming out to counter. That's gonna be a blue with a temple trying to reheal while chasing after dead. That is a massive, massive burning him right now. Putting up traps right now for a bit. Wants to go for Manic Bandage. Couldn't quite get it. Didn't quite go for Manic Bandage. Somebody on the him when he spent were doing taking damage. Oblivion's gonna mount up. Try to run into Freeze. Actually, Freeze is dead right next to the trap. Not gonna kite him in. Dead is trying it again. That's not gonna. Oh, Oblivion did actually freeze himself. A dead could go maybe for a stun wombo combo. Has cooldowns rolling right now. Has massive CDs. No, wants to go for the massive camo. Is there anybody on his team? No, him and his pet both are clean. Manic Bandage is coming out. It's gonna be full reset. Are the eyes up? Yes. Obliv could go for eyes. No, actually gonna go for food themselves. Because they, they know if they're breath dead into a polymer, they could always put him in that same situation. Kind of is near dead. That's gonna be him putting up some dots. We thought I may be picking up the eye, but he's right there. It's not coming out to Obliv. Dead is trying to take advantage of the opportunity to do as much damage to Obliv as it can before he gets too close. That's gonna be Temporal coming in for Obliv. Not gonna get that much healing since most of Dead's damage has been put out already. Obliv is gonna land a polymorph onto the pet. That's gonna be Freezing Trap around the corner. Oh, misses the breath. Trying to land a poly onto Dead. Not gonna happen. Second poly trying to come out. Doesn't land it. Dead is just gonna go skirting around the LOS right now. That's gonna be Obliv trying to bail out. That's gonna be dead. Throwing in a harpoon. Not gonna connect. And Obliv wants to go for a bit of a reset. The dots are not gonna let him. Regeneration. Not gonna come out. Regenerating. And Obliv is walking back into traps right now. His first trap. Then he's just gonna dot him up. Throw grenades. Use that corner and abuse the shit out of it. Harpoon coming out into Obliv as he's trying to drop a ring. That's gonna be a breath coming out. Dead is gonna have a trigger for this one. Could shrink it if he wants to. He is gonna trick it immediately. Second problem will try to come out. That's gonna be eyes buck early for Obliv. It's gonna break out of an ice block. Root onto dead. Wants to land a polymorph. Gonna be a short poly. Ring of Frost coming out for the pet. Is gonna be able to freeze the pet. Obliv is kind of losing out on a lot of his value of his damage. That's gonna be freeze coming in. As he got cooldowns up and running. Wants to get some cooldowns and bears damage onto dead. That is gonna line it completely as Mally smacks him upside the head. Trick coming out for Obliv with a temporal. Trying to send more damage to dead. But that is gonna line it completely. Obliv is gonna be at low health. Carter Rice coming down right now. Needs to heal as much as possible. Breath coming onto dead. Into polymorph. Does land the poly. Does he go for the double setup? Blast combo one, but no, not gonna land it. Once for a meteor instead, try to go for instance, but dead is gonna faint down that meteor as it slams down. Throwing down the traps. Next up is gonna be Artisa knocking over the tar trap into a root trap. Try to get to dead ASAP. No chicken available on that hunter right now. And Artisa is just making their way over there, just flying over to dead. Then he's just gonna range him as much as he can, as much as humanly possible. Stun coming out, Wombo Combo coming in for the DH, Blade Dance, Annihilates coming out, Annihilating through dead's health. That's gonna be tricked onto that uh, Freezing Trap, into a Turtle Shell, Manic Bandage. Dead is just gonna turtle all of that damage, turtling the game, slowing it down a little. That's gonna be a Blade Dance for Artisa to dodge whatever death throws at him. Root coming in, dead used to wait out the four minute cd of that metamorphosis tried to fly up doesn't have the angle onto dead right now 
So that's gonna be pretty good for dead right now. Artist of those still in a chase. Dead still without a chicken. That is gonna be a camo sending the pet over to disrupt the uh, eyes for Artist. Stun coming out onto the DH. Can dead get enough damage in the no? Just gonna throw grenades and try to peel away from DH. Is gonna harpoon him for a moment. Artist has the one combo yet again. Blade dance coming out to follow off of those annihilates. Actually, just going through death's health, but also not doing that great on their own health. Dead is gonna put him on ice for a moment. That's gonna be. Oh, I like that actually. That's like mid blade dance. Bandic Man is coming out, does disrupt dead on it. Does making sure to get the dots and the traps and the pet damage. Trying to get the sustain. Rolling order artist. So doesn't have the cooldowns to make this happen. Does harpoon at him with a grenade in the face. Trick coming out on stun. Trying to see if he can hit it. Maybe that was a bad idea. Stun coming out to dead. Into an eye beam again. Does interrupt that eye beam and smacks him down. Dead. Two down. Three to go. Who's up next? It looks like it's gonna be Lumica playing some de Destro? I was confused though. So destruction world. Wait. He went. Did you see? He just kind of sucked on the floor for a moment. Shrek is out of freezing trap into a root trap. Dad is given the opportunity to get a full manic bandage over there. Fully set up. Ready to go. But he's going to need it to go up against a Destro Warlock with massive Chaos Bowls. This is going to be a hell of a fight for him to come back from. Trying to get the dots and the nades rolling right now. Letting the pet do a little bit of work. Try to chisel away, really pick away at Lumica's health little by little, making sure the dots are still rolling. Ha, give him the traps for, to, for him to run around. Lumica needs to get the angle onto that. Does get a root on it for a moment. He does feign death. It. Dead is actually in the proximity. Actually, doesn't line. Oh, burning out his racial just to get away from the fear, but not before Inferno slams down on him. That's going to be wall with a massive chaos ball getting sat down. Big damage available. Has him to the literally cleaves him down to half health. Lumica is trying to bail out of there. Actually, no, Lumica is trying to chase after the dead. That is the one trying to find an angle to Lumica. That Infernal is doing a fair amount of work. And this pet, both of these pets actually turn through death's health. What can he do? He's going to disengage away as Lumica is starting to find themselves on the other side of the pillar. Going to fade death away from those pets for a moment. Does he get away though? If you can find a way to, for him to kill a camel, does get the angle. No, should have probably hugged the wall a little bit better. I guess Lumica to get a full commanding bandages. Does get a stun to Lumica, pulling his pet back as the pet is dotted up. You have to wait for this pet dot before you can land a full camo. The pet is still dotted dead. You got to be aware of that, man. He's going to be able to get some roots and slows. Limica is just going to have to wait this out. I think they're trying to decide exactly what they want to do. Or they're lagging. No, they're coming back. Death thought it would maybe take advantage of the opportunity. Looks like they are lagging a little bit. Fear trying to come out onto Dead. Doesn't trap their fear. Chaos Bolt to fall. It's going to be Malik onto Lumica. Another Chaos Bolt to chuck out. Not going to happen. Lining it completely. Dead is going to be found in the long stretch of a pillar. Going to get rooted off of the horror. Another Chaos Bolt loaded up. Not going to happen. Big board coming out. Lumica trying to style, find Dead. Trying to catch him in place. Trying to hold him for a moment. Chaos Bolt loaded up. It's going to smack Dead. One. Second one. Dead. Dead. Two. Barely any health. Freezing trap coming onto Lumica. Forces out a trick. Eternal Strike. Coming in for dead. Perfect turtle shot timing. Manic banners are coming out. And all Lumica can do is dot up Dead's pet. He needs to get out of that situation again. Lumica just trying to find an angle onto Dead. That's going to be a cataclysm smack for the dot damage. Chaos bolts are coming out. Stun coming out to Lumica. Does that have enough damage? Try to send the eagles. The eagles are flying. And the eagles proven to be better than a chaos bolt. A bolt of literal chaos. Invest in your wildlife preserves, boys. Oh, sponsor. Try to AOE out dead. Looks like he catches him. Big wings and dead has nothing for this one. Paladin damage is way too strong, man. Going on to the next guy. On to Naya. He's like, yo, Naya, I see you. You know, I got them wings rolling. Let's get the show on the road. I just want to take this momentum, this massive explosive force that is wings of paladins and just massive, just cram it into you. Let me just fucking temple verdict your buddy. Let me triple verdict you for a massive amount of damage. Let me just use you for like 100k or so. Now you're getting in there as the wings start to decay. There's a fury coming out into Shield of Vengeance. Now you're going for a Whirling Dragon Punch. Get some damage out. Shield popping off. Now you're taking trick and get a force up pretty early. It's going to bail out of there immediately. He used to re heal up. Sponsored though. He's on the way, man. He's running again. That's Charger coming out. Gonna be a couple of real fights for Naya at 22% dampening. Harsh coming out. Trick out of it. Stunning on the Paladin. Paladin's gonna get a trick out as well. Karma coming out early. Sponsor could bubble or bop. And Bob coming out. Does Naya have a belt to make it happen? Do they have a belt? They could belt the Bob. And turn this around. Has a pre wall if they need to. Is gonna pre wall this. Do they belt this? They waited it out. Maybe that was a bad situation. Don't have a lot to work with. Get it caught on the corner of the pillar. That might be the end game for them. That could be the move that have guaranteed the win for Sponsor. But looks like he got away for a moment. Sponsor is gonna get himself a mount up. Nah, you're not gonna be able to chase. You're not gonna be able to run away just like Sponsor has been. Oh, poor coming out. Trying to see if he can juke out the Paladin. 
But the Paladin is a Rider of the Dark. Gonna get a duel. Oh, Hatch coming down. Now you barely any health. Execution sentence to follow. Templars were to cleave them down. Naya, I know you got a guild called Murloc stole my loot, but honestly, I also feel like sponsors stole that win. Just saying. Just saying. That was such a good one, though. That was a good duel for both of them. Although, Naya, belf it, man. Belf it. What are you doing, man? Unless he belt it way, way early or something. Good possibility, though. Good possibility. Who's up next, boys? We got ourselves Floxy. We got ourselves Landrion. It looks like it's gonna be Landrion. Try to run up at sponsor right now. Try to make his way over there. Did Avidan's just like distract him for a second? I think Avidan did so distract him. That's what it looked like for a second. But that's gonna be sponsored. Chilling for a bit. Hanging out. Getting cooldowns back up and running. Landron is finally able to catch up. Hodge coming out. Wings to follow. Landron is going to AMS it and IBM. Trying to burn as much offensive side defensive power into a sponsor just to truck the damage in. Army of the Dead joins the fight. Sponsor does get to use his full wings, but that stun is going to kind of lower down his chance of winning. Big Necrotic stacking up right now. That's going to be massive, massive, massive amount of healing. Sponsor just cannot do. Might just have to use Bubble a little bit early here. Trying to heal through his Necrotics. Doing a decent job. Bubble is still going to come out as Landron does force the massive cooldown out of Sponsor. It's going to literally run away from that second set of wings, that minute-long wings. That's going to be a flashlight. Try to come out. Doesn't get a kick on it. Landron is also necrotic now. Pretty bad by sponsor. Not a lot of health to work with. Flashlights are coming out. Anything could end him right now. Barely hanging out in the last tether. And down he goes. That's going to be Landron taking him out. Next up is going to be Avidence. Has himself full setup going. Wants to take out. Dispatch Landron real quickly. Out of here. That's going to be Floxy coming out. Trying to get a slow up onto the rogue, but... How's that gonna work out here? Arcane Mage versus Sub. That's gonna be an interesting one, man. I think Sub has a much better chance than Assassination, I guess, Arcane. Because Arcane has all the slows. That's gonna be Shadow Step Kick onto Floxy as Avid is trying to get a set of Floxy. He does find himself at about half health. That's gonna be some damage that Floxy can finally go for. We're gonna go for Massive Insta Castle to Avidance. Keeping him slowed. Avidance trying to find that Atlantis side around the corner. That's gonna be Arcane Missiles, and that's gonna be Mage actually blinking back with those missiles. That's going to be Temporal coming out. Avidance could try to belf it. And that's going to be Floxy actually doing a decent job. Staying max distance from Avidance. Doing damage. Finally, Avidance gets to stunlock him. Do some damage. Still has a trinket if he needs to. Still has Azbuck if he needs to. Floxy is going to get himself a shield up and running. Still continue to get slows into Avidance. Avidance just can't go anywhere, man. Just cannot go anywhere. Pretty sure there's also going to be that nether tether dot. That's going to be Mali onto Floxy. Just decided to take as much damage. DFI coming down. Trying to get close to the mage. It's going to be a little bit of invis to get that damage buff that Floxy does have. Like a 60% damage reduction buff you invis. Or when you come out of invis. Alvin is still taking the slowest damage. Has the shadow step ready to go. Any mode right now. Mark for death available. Floxy should be expecting this. Kid is shot coming out. Is he going to know? Trick is not available. I guess he used his uh, racial. He's on dead racial at one point. 23 second cooldown for that. Big sheep just coming down. That's going to be Floxy. Trick and blinking away. Doesn't have Ice Buck anymore. Needs to get slows into Avidence. Avidence is going to bail out of there. Avidence just has way too much damage for Floxy. Every time he gets too close, Floxy needs to maintain his distance. Needs to play the ground. Play the slow game. Does have a shield up and run for himself. Avidence built the comp points. Short stun onto Floxy. Trying to get that eviscerated in there. DFA tried to land. Not going to land. Actually, what's out the DFA? That was maybe the opportunity for Avidence. Does have a Cloak of Shadows. Does have a vanish if Shadow Step and is gonna get a dot up and running with the Floxy. It looks like the mage is done with and Avidence taking him out of the end. Big grips for dead sponsored Avidence and everybody else who participated. That one, man, made for a very, very interesting and fun game to watch, honestly. MML DC'd? MML DC'd? Oh, we were actually missing one guy, huh? Shucks. It's okay. It's okay. We can get MML back in there, man. More than welcome to. More than welcome to. Otherwise, it would have been evidence versus them about.